Hi. Today we shall see about iron and steel. Iron is produced with the following ingredients. Iron ore, coke, limestone. Iron ore are received from mines. There are several iron ores, but the important ones are magnetite and hematite. Magnetite in its purest form contains more than 72% of iron and hematite nearly contains 69.9% of iron. Rocks received from mines are crushed and iron ores are separated using magnets. These ores are powdered and converted into pellets. So now the second item coke. Coal is converted to coke by heating coal around 1000 to 1100 degree centigrade in the absence of oxygen. This process is carried to receive carbon in its purest form. The coke acts as fuel as well as reducing agent. Now the third item, limestone. It acts as flux removing impurities. Calcium carbonate in limestone reacts with silicon dioxide in the molten iron to form calcium silicate. Calcium silicate is less dense than molten iron. So it floats above the molten iron. Impurities can be removed easily. Now the iron making process. Blast furnace is fed with iron ore, coke, limestone. Heated air is blown into the furnace in the lower section. The air causes the coke to burn producing carbon monoxide which reacts with the iron as well as produce heat to melt the iron. Finally, molten iron and slag are drained separately. This iron contains more carbon level above 4% and other impurities such as sulfur, phosphorus, silicon and manganese. Highest carbon level makes the iron brittle. The impurity should be removed and iron carbon percentage should be reduced to produce steel. It can be done by basic oxygen process as well as electric arc furnace. So in this session we are seeing about basic oxygen process. In this process the impure molten iron is mixed with scrap steel and oxygen is blown at jet speed pressures. The oxygen reacts with impurities to form various oxides and can be removed as slag. There are other methods also. The carbon content of steel is between 0.002% to 2.14%. Now the basic molten steel is formed and according to requirements such as hardness, toughness, ductility, machinability, corrosion resistant and other requirements, additional ingredients are added to manufacture required steel. Basically, steel is divided into four types. Carbon steel, alloy steel, stainless steel, tool steel. So, carbon steel is categorized according to percentage of carbon. Alloy steel, metals such as nickel, tungsten, copper are added to get desired metallic properties. Stainless steel, alloy of chromium and steel. Tool steel, used in making tools and dyes, composed of carbides, steel and cobalt etc. Hope this session might be useful to you. Thanks.